Hello, this is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com guide to Cyberlink Power Director. And here we are in Power Director creating one of the most often requested special effects in the program. How do you draw a moving line across a map, Indiana Jones style? Here's the effect we're trying to create. Isn't that cool looking? Real easy to do if you know the trick. To create this effect, we'll need two things. One is we need, of course, a graphic of a map. We'll also need that very same map with a red line drawn across it. What we're going to do essentially is overlay one map on top of the other and then peel it back using a mask animation so that we can see the line slowly revealed. It'll look like it's being drawn on the map in real time. So to do that, we're going to take the graphic of the map with the line. I'm going to put that down on video track one. We'll extend that out to about eight seconds. Then we'll take the graphic of the map with no line, put that on video track two, extend that out to the same length. There we go. And since it's on video track two, we are seeing only the map with no line. The map with the line is hidden underneath it. So select the clip of the map on video track two. We'll go up here to Designer, Mask Designer. We'll select the square mask. There we go. And then before we do anything else, we're gonna go down here and uncheck the option to maintain aspect ratio. Otherwise, we'll have to work with a square the entire way through this exercise. We don't wanna do that. We wanna be able to manipulate the sides independently. Let's move the playhead back to the very beginning of that timeline, back to the beginning of the clip. And now we can see the sides of that mask and you can see as I peel the mask back, you can see the red line map revealed underneath it. Let's set our starting point right here just before the red line appears. We'll create keyframes or turn on animation for both position and scale. You can see those initial keyframes there on the timeline. Then we'll move the playhead out here to just about the end of the clip and peel back the mask to reveal completely the red line. And you can see the animation we have now as I scrub through it. Here is what we'll see as the clip plays, the line appears to be drawn right on the map. So let's click OK. We're done with that, but we at MoviePix are never satisfied with a simple effect. We want to do it a little bit cooler than that. And I'll show you how to make it that much cooler. Let's move the playhead again back to the beginning of the timeline. And I'm going to temporarily disable the clip on video track two. And I'm going to do that just by unchecking right here on the track header. And that turns off video track two. So now all we're seeing is what's on video track one. We'll select that clip and then go here to the function button for keyframe. Click on that. And that opens up some options here for keyframing. Toggle open clip attributes and turn on your animation here or click on that little keyframe for position and also for scale, which is height and width. Now these are uh, maintaining the aspect ratio. So when I change one, it's gonna change both of them. We wanna start with a close up of Spain. So with the playhead sitting on top of these keyframes, I'm going to change the height and width to about 170%. So in other words, 1.7. And when I select width here, they both update. So they're both at 170% now. Our scale is up that high. And then I'm going to just drag right across here in the preview window to get Spain right there in the center of my screen. Once I've done that, I'm gonna move the playhead out to just about the end of the clip. And we're going to set the height and width back to 1.0 or 100%, right? So click on that. When I select the other one, they both update and we'll reposition by dragging right on the preview screen, right on the window there to position the map right in the center of the screen. So now we've got this effect going on here, a motion path that begins with a close-up of Spain and then moves out to show the entire Mediterranean. We will apply that very same motion path now using magic to the clip that's on video track two. So to do that, I'm going to select the clip here on video track one, right click on it and select copy keyframe attributes. So we're copying the motion path. Then select the clip here on video track two right click and paste those keyframe attributes. So we're pasting the motion path onto video track two. You will get a little warning saying it's gonna overwrite whatever's there now and that's fine. And then we'll check the box here to turn on or re-enable video track two. 
and now we should be all set. So I'm gonna play this through from the very beginning. We should see the maps moving in synchronization. And as that mask peels back to reveal what's on video track one, we should then see what appears to be an animated line being drawn on a moving map. Let's see if it works. Isn't that awesome? Your friends are gonna be so impressed. <laughs> very, very cool. Now, if you want to see more tricks and tips like this or learn some basic training with PowerDirector, I hope you'll stop by moviepix.com. We've got a growing library of tips and tutorials we're continually adding. And if you want to know everything about the program and every tool in it and how it all works, check out the moviepix.com guidebook for CyberLink PowerDirector. That's available at amazon.com. I'm Steve Grizzetti. Thanks for joining me. Hope to see you again real soon.